Okay, we're going to take a look at finding the x-intercept and the y-intercept, which uh, I've often referred to in class as called the peekaboo method. So if we take an equation, let's say the equation is 5x plus 2y is equal to, let's say, 20. Okay, if I want to find the x-intercept, I always, always, always make y equal 0, which in essence will take this value, make it 0, that's 0. And so what I say is I do peekaboo, and oh, and so what I can do, I hide this here, peekaboo, and I ignore it, and so then I can say that 5x equals 20, so x equals 4, and so the x-intercept is 4, 0. Similarly, I do the same kind of thing now. I do it for the y-intercept. Okay, for the y-intercept, let me move this up here. For the y-intercept, I'll change over to red. I always let y equal 0. And that is for, I'm sorry, for the y-intercept, intercept, I let x equal 0, always x equal to 0. And so what I do in this case, it's the same thing as taking this, Making x0 means that basically vanishes. And so I'm left with 2y equal to 20. So y equals 10, which gives me the x, the y-intercept, which is 0, comma 10. And that's what I refer to as the peekaboo method, because we peekabooed away. This method typically works best when we have an equation in standard form that looks like this.